All right. What's up, YouTube? So, I started watching this, and I just, my jaw dropped, and I had to leave a comment. I left a big comment just because based on whatever, what I was reading in the comments. Now, this is a video, you'll, you'll get the gist of it here. Uh, the video titled, Trump Destroyed in Most Brutal Interview You'll Ever See, or something. But this is what, this is today. Um, they're talking about Trump. And they're talking about, um, you know, uh, we have like predictive policing, right? How they're police, you know, do the, the gang stalking and everything else. The, the people that they think are going to break the laws. Predictive policing. It's like minority report, right? But the same thing's happening in the media. It's been happening. They don't report on the news. They report on their opinions of what is going to happen that never happens. They just scare people into, you know... It's like they spin everything around, but listen to this one. This is this one just blew my mind um, because it's it's like it's projection. Everybody is just projecting. Like all of these these people are just have lost their mind, and they just project. It's crazy. Check this out. So, folks, one of the really big worries when it came to Donald Trump both before he came into power all the way back in 2016 but also every day since is that through a mixture of desperation and greed he would sell off national secrets sell off access sell off power to the highest bidder foreign or domestic to enrich him because he's he's so greedy that he literally he gave up his salary as president and, and did the entire... He was president for free, okay? Do people forget that? That he... You know, he campaigned on the fact that he wouldn't take a salary. He wouldn't cost... You know, he wouldn't cost the taxpayer dollars money. He wouldn't take a salary. He wasn't in it for the money. He proved that. ...self to cover his debts and all of that. And this was before... The big verdicts against him. Now, the if big he verdicts. was desperate and greedy before, it's gotten so much worse now. And what experts are saying from across the political spectrum is that Donald Trump right now is making moves to sell out his country to dangerous actors like those in Saudi Arabia. Remember, this is the man that took classified documents, and one thing you can do with those documents <laughs> is sell them. And Donald <clears throat> Trump is in a... Or you can put them in your garage, right? You could, you could throw them in your garage, toss them to the side next to the Corvette, right? <laughs> or give them to Hunter. Don't give them to Hunter. In a position now where he needs cash, and banks won't be able to give it to him because of the judgments against him in most cases, and only people who really have the means and the desire to do it are some of the shadiest SOBs on the entire planet from some of the most human rights violating countries on the planet, Saudi, Russia, and many men. Uh, are you gonna include the United States as one of the, one of the most human rights violating countries? It's right up there. But um, he's talking about the debt, right? Now his, this, this bills that he has now, right? Now why does he have all these bills, right? This $500, billion, $500 million fucking bill basically, because the courts, the courts gave this to him. The, the courts just awarded, you know, the judgment against him, $450 million or something like that. It's crazy. It, it's like, it's just, it's crazy, right? It's fucking nuts. Any others. Listen to this because it goes into this shocking development. And how shocking. And you think it's bad now. Shocking development. Donald Trump selling out your country, acts of treason. Your are country. Are going to get much worse as he gets closer and closer to being absolutely, totally broke. <laughs> so, my understanding is that the judgment requires him to put the money up now, pending appeal. That's the usual procedure. Right, so you think he's gonna wriggle out? I think that, I don't know. You, I, see, I, okay, you have the same skepticism, right? There's a sense that like, it'll- See, even the people in the news, they can't even bring themselves to play along. She, she can't even say what they want her to say, that he's gonna, oh, he's gonna wiggle out of, you know. They want her to say, oh, yeah, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, and, you know, to scare everybody into thinking he's a crook, to, to program their brains into thinking that he's broke, into thinking that he's trying to take everybody's money, and, and you know, but it's just projection. It's exactly what fucking Brandon 
you know, Biden, dude, fucking Sleepy Joe has done. I, I can't understand how they can sit here and say this without realizing that they are reminding people exactly what is going on right now, exactly what Biden has done to the people in the last fucking three, four years. It's exactly what he's done to everybody for the last four years. He's done nothing but sell us out every step of the way, every step of the way. So by bringing this up and talking about Trump, you know, it's fucking crazy to to even say that that's what he's going to do. That's bullshit. But to even say that, to try to blame him for future, for, for selling us out in the future because of a debt that you just, the judge just fucking put against him. It's like not even not even anything of his doing, right? They just railroaded him in court. And then this this shocking turn of events that they've planned out because they have active desperation because they have nothing else they can do. It's just disturbing what their the power and the the extent that they're willing to use to try to trick the stupid people. Even the stu- like the smart people aren't getting tricked by this. I'm sorry. The smart people can see through this. But the stupid people, it's, I mean, even the stupid people can see through this now. And they're just like, it's like they're exposing themselves. They're sealing their own fate. It's crazy. But the predictive shit is not working. The predictive policing shit, what? What did the, the, um, you know, the community watch groups, right? The Cointel Pro, the fucking, all this shit. It's put in place, what, to, to, to thwart terrorism, right? And to stop all these things from happening. And what happened? What, what do you see happening nine times out of ten? The people that are, that are, you know, getting paid to go out there and do these investigations um, on innocent Americans, right? Without any, any just cause, without any probable cause or anything. They can just do these investigations, follow them around, try to drive them crazy. Try to, they try to cause the crime, right? They try to cause a false flag operation. They're the criminals, right? So there's the predictive policing side of it. The news side of it, they talk about half the shit they talk about. They they give people ideas, you know? They program people's brains. They put ideas into people's heads, right? Like they talk about the school shooting so often, and then they're surprised when they happen, right? But they don't take any accountability for that. That's not their fault, even though they talk about it nonstop, like constantly, they don't think they have any accountability for why it happens at all. Nobody, nobody wants to look at that. It's programming. They want it to happen. That's, it's, they work hand in hand with, you know, the, the actors that go around pushing people, pushing people, pushing people and driving them nuts until they fucking lose it until they, you know, on the brink of, of just losing it. And then they're, they're going to make sure they're right there ready to capture it, you know, ready to, with a camera and ready to read their fucking little script, right? It'll never happen. Oh, I don't think it'll never happen, but I just, you know, having spent all this time in courtrooms, I do feel that Trump... So here, this, this guy is just, reminds me of my brother, to be honest. He doesn't know what he's talking about, but he acts... Trump's lawyers are pretty good at finding legal wrinkles for delaying things and act, for making things. He acts like he knows what he's talking about. He just parrots what he hears on the news, you know. Oh, it's Trump tells all these lies, right? Well, you know what? He's never lied to me. I don't know about you. Has he ever lied to you? Things not happen that you think are going to happen. So, but anyway, yes, presumably he's going to have to come up with hundreds of millions of dollars to put aside pending a final disposition at the New York State Court of Appeals. Now, let's say he doesn't win the appeal, right? So let's... I just want to point out again, too. They're making this big stink... Over five hundred million dollars, right, and and scaring everybody into thinking that Trump's gonna sell out the American people because you just gave him a five hundred dollar debt, five hundred million dollar debt, five hundred million dollars. Okay, let's compare that for just a second to the money that that we've uh, that has went to Ukraine without really a vote by the people. You know, Congress just just railroads that shit, just pushes that shit right through, steamrolls it right through. How many billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, how many hundreds of billions of dollars 
did we send to Ukraine? Right? Just just asking. That was, uh, what, taxpayer dollars, I believe? Right? Or Well, it's it's the taxpayer's debt, anyway. But that, that just, no question there at all. You know, wave the yellow, blue flag, man. Got to send that money over there. Who cares about the American people? Right? But, oh, Donald Trump has a debt. We just gave him a $500 million, which is like a drop in a bucket compared to the amount of money we sent to Ukraine. And we better make a big news story about it. Anything we can do to flood the news cycle so that people don't find out the truth. Let's say he, he actually has to pay half a billion dollars. Um, what does that mean? for? I mean, you've, you've reported on this business for a right. long time and it's fairly opaque, but... What does that mean for the, the Trump war? Right. Well, I mean, obviously, it's really a lot of money, really a lot of money. I mean, yes. By any, of... any standard. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that was interesting is in this trial, there was a definite. No, Sleepy not by. Joe must go. <laughs> now that I've got your attention, we're giving away free Trump gold bar. By any standard. Look, it just messed up. Isn't that funny? My video, the video messed up. It won't even play anymore. <laughs> but that's. She says that's that's really a lot of money by any standard, and I beg to differ. If we go by the uh, the money sent to Ukraine standard, that's a drop in a bucket. That's not a lot of money at all compared to the amount of money we sent to fucking Ukraine. Is it? Is it? Come on now, come on. I mean, what? What the one time? What was it? Four hundred billion dollars. Four hundred billion dollars isn't that right we sent to ukraine or am i mistaken was it 400 million either way 400 million just the one time <laughs> i remember um the, the quid pro quo right what was that was that 400 million or 400 billion if it was 400 billion dollars right 400 billion dollars 400 million would be what um uh, one thousandth of 400 billion right <laughs> isn't that what it is is that is that right is my math correct there it would take a thousand four hundred billions right or four hundred millions to make four hundred billion is that right because four hundred million times ten right would be 4 billion times 100 would be 40 billion times 1,000 would be 400 billion so 1,000 of those so just so just one of 1,000 one out of 1,000 okay <laughs> and that's that's a lot of money and you're going to make a big stink out of it and, and try to you know try to influence literally influence the um, influence the election based on that you know, the fear that that scare people into thinking he's going to sell America, America out and everything. It's just suck. It's sick what they're doing. Let's see if we can get We're this. now going to bring you someone who is... Here, we'll go back. This is really a go. devastating thing for him on that level. And it is devastating because it's real. He has to put up that bond or put up that money within so many days. Or the, the state of New York can come in and start padlocking Trump Tower. That's that's real for him. Mm. What Suzanne just said, I hope people at home were listening intent. Uh, but that advice, he will never admit to doing anything wrong, even if it's inc inconsequential. You, you actually said uh, the other night that you thought Donald Trump, uh, well, not the other night, you were talking, this was last year, you said to CNN, you thought that Donald Trump was enjoying this process. Do you think he still is? I don't think he's like he likes getting uh, uh, buffeted around and, and, and things being said about him that are so awful, such as what was in the ruling. But I think that he is okay with it to the extent that he can spin it, and he's already started that. He can and spin I think it. In, the, in his heart, he believes one, he's never he's going to get away with it, and two, he thinks that you know he can make money off of this somehow or get more. He's going to get away with what? more fundraising, more people to feel sorry for him. Oh my God, look what they're doing to Trump. He must be president. Let's give him some money. Yeah, well, I, I would agree. That, that does seem to work for him. People, people develop some sympathy and affinity for him no matter what happens. No, because you guys just fucking... It's, it's, it's ridiculous what you guys do. The amount, of, the amount of attacks one man gets 
by, by everybody and everything. You guys do it. Happens, but let's talk about the the myth of of the guy who, as you just heard Suzanne Craig say, inherited more from his dad than uh, he <laughs> likes to admit. You're is still not as self made as he's like to as he like to admit, and has had a lot of his wealth built on um, at least some fraud. Uh, the myth of Donald Trump that a lot of people follow is still not broken. But for other see, this is not news. I'm sorry. This is not news at all. This is nothing news worthy about this. This is all just fucking stupid opinions by stupid delusional people. Others it is. What's the, what's the sense of it to you? Do you have a sense that, that, you know, the emperor has no clothes? Is, is, is the real Donald Trump, has he been exposed now? I'd like to think so, but I'm not, I'm not certain of that. She'd like to think so. Wouldn't she? She'd like to think so. Uh, no, absolutely not. Because, you know, exposed to whom? Yeah. To the rest of us, the normal people, intelligent people, thinking people, caring people? No, we knew all of this. Okay, the normal people, the intelligent people, the thinking people, the normal people, the rest of us, she says, right? Okay, she's referring to what? Um, her, him, um, what? The, the Trump haters, right? The normal thinking, intelligent people, right? It's before. We knew before he was even accused. But he exposed to his, his supporters? No, no, nothing's going to... Oh, so his supporters then are the unintelligent people. The, un, the people that don't think, right? Is that what you're saying? Because she, she uses, the, you know, the, the not normal people. <laughs> so there's the normal, intelligent, thinking people. And then, and then his supporters, which are what the, the not normal, unintelligent, and and people that don't think, really, they don't use their brains. Seriously, you might as well call call everybody deplorables like Hillary did. I'm gonna change his supporters, and there are two kinds of supporters: the one that marched in lock, lockstep with MAGA guys, and wealthy people who don't care what happens to the Constitution as long as their taxes are low. Are you serious? What a fucking cunt. I'm sorry. Two kinds of two kinds of supporters. The rich people, right? That only vote for them because their taxes are low. And then the the dumb loyal people who just who just follow in lockstep with their guns, right? <laughs> Come on. You have no idea how many people you're insulting right now. Mm -hmm. And the taxes are low and there's no regulation. There's no regulation yes. of anything. I'm glad you said that because that's where a lot of people stand right now. They'll make all sorts of excuses for Donald Trump uh, because really what they want is is lower taxes and, and less regulation. Really? There are 2,700 robocalls made really? every second in the U.S. You might have been on the receiving end of one. It couldn't possibly be that they want their, you know, they want a better country, that they want to make sure that they secure the future of the country for our kids and our grandkids and shit like that. That couldn't possibly be it, right? We just want lower taxes. That's it. That's all anybody cares about. Lower taxes, right? Come on. So I wrote this comment, right? Let's see. Here it is. Okay. Here is the comment. I said, you really think that there's any secrets left to sell? Because they're talking about selling off secrets to foreign nations. That's what Trump's gonna. That's how they started this this uh, video. There's a whole big section at the beginning that that it kind of missed. But they're talking about him selling his secrets to Israel and in the Saudis and everything. I said, you really think there's any secrets left to sell? I said, I don't know what you people have been smoking, or what reality you live in. But from where I'm sitting, your boy Brandon sold everything already. The weapons and aircraft from the military got sold to the Middle East on day one. Then on day two, he sold off our number one spot as the global leader in oil production when he shut down the Keystone Pipeline. Then he literally sold all of our country's national oil stores so it wouldn't be immediately obvious to everyone that he sold us out whenever they visited the gas pump. Then if you missed any of the coverage over Hunter, the Hunter laptop story, because the media pretty much ignored it, then you might not have heard how Hunter Biden had been literally selling us out by selling access to the big guy between our biggest adversaries like China and Russia for almost a decade. 
And then let's see, uh, I lost track. How many hundreds of billions went to Ukraine? Because that made a whole lot of sense, right? And the whole time he was busy selling us all out from uh, from his be beachfront property in Delaware, he helped Big Pharma sell us all on the lie with the vaccines, using fear propaganda on COVID. And right now, as we speak, he's in the process of selling the border to every other third world country that despises us. So make no mistake, if you if you thought the last election was successful with the record-breaking turnout of voters for Biden, then this, this one's even going to be much more successful with all the new voters that are flooding into our country every day. But yeah, sure, Trump's going to sell us out. Oh, he's going to sell all of us out because he's just so greedy and broke, right? When are you people going to see the forest for the trees? We're under attack, in case you haven't noticed. It's... It's all been made possible by your beloved Brandon and his trustee administration, mainly the DOJ, that's been weaponized against us to grab whatever power and control that's left to grab, while censoring and criminalizing anyone who speaks the truth and poses a threat to their plans. So that was the comment I left because of all these comments. Crazy comments. Um, all I saw was one after the other of, yeah, that's great, he needs to pay. I bet he's losing his mind over this. Vote blue. There were only nefarious reasons why he took these to begin with, either extortion or to sell, our enemy, sell to our enemies. Why is Trump not charged with treason? The only thing Trump thinks is only all about the money, nothing else. This man is not fit to run my children's daycare. <laughs> vote blue, no matter who, vote blue. You back the blue till it happens to you. Put him in prison now. It's funny because he can't borrow from New York banks which means he's not allowed to borrow from most banks in the United States, as they all have a presence in New York. Yeah, isn't that funny? It's almost like they planned that, isn't it? Isn't that convenient? Absolutely, 100% been shown his true colors, not just orange. Lock him up now, law over politics. <laughs> so, like, I'm reading all these comments. That's why I stopped and left that comment. I was, like, blown away. I may have missed it, but where does it say that the 45 sold Indeed documents to the Saudis Arabia? If so, he should be in prison. That would be outrageous. Exactly. See, she's, she's, she's one of these non-thinkers, though, right? These unintelligent non-thinkers. I like presidents that weren't found liable for fraud and sexual abuse and facing 91 felony charges. <laughs> these people are blind. With the interest of the safety of our country, Trump should be in jail with 24-7 monitoring. I appreciate your program. I like how you work with CNN and provide news clips of my most trusted news sources. Thank you. So that's, that's sarcasm there. I like that one. Now, can you use the 14th Amendment? He just committed treason. <laughs> this should not surprise anybody. What is surprising is how much they still allow him to get away with. What the fuck is... What is... The, seriously, am, am I living in an, a different reality than these people? My goodness, this would be a nightmare. It is sad that our richest citizens don't want to help build America and make us so much better by helping with taxes. Why can't the government be transparent and let these corporations know what their taxes are for and where their money will be allocated? I know I'm dreaming. So this has nothing to do with the, with the video, but, but I agree. If he sells assets in a fire sale but wins, he can never buy his old assets at the price he sold them. Okay, so who cares about that? Does anybody care about the country? See, they get you distracted. They get you thinking about Trump's debt that they just, they made the news. They just created the news. And now they're getting you all to think about that. And that's it. And you're distracted so that they can do whatever they want over here. Don't you see? Wake up. Wake up, people. Lock him up now. What are you waiting for? The question is not, does the emperor have no clothes? The question is, Donnie have a photocopier? <laughs> Told all of you he would do this. He kept the docs to do just that. Do You don't even know what documents they were. And he didn't keep documents because they were classified documents. He took documents like every other president did on their way out. If they were classified, they should not have been in his possession. They should not have been allowed to be taken out of the White House. It's not like he snuck them out, okay? They did this. They planned the whole thing, you idiots. 
You know what I'm saying? And and don't forget, they also found classified documents in Biden's garage. Pretty li- a little bit less secure than Mar-a-Lago. Just saying. I, I mean, it's just you see all these comments after one after the other after the other after the other. So this is clearly somebody. You know the the. The channel owner clearly goes in and deletes the comments he doesn't like. I'm curious to see how long my comment stays there. I just left the comment probably about 20 minutes ago, 35 minutes ago. It shows up at the top, so let's hit newest and let's see. Okay, so let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, look, mine's gone. 35 minutes ago, uh, 42 minutes ago. There it is, right? Here, we'll give it a like. Now, these ones that came after me, there's four likes already. Two likes, three likes, two likes. I mean, you see how they manipulate this shit? Like, that's what they do. They, they, they sit there and they wait and they, they have all this these things to sit here and, and they like these other comments, right? So there's that many people who are, are making these comments and liking them at the same time, right? That's what you're going to say? And nobody liked my comment at all. It's a pretty big comment. Everybody wrote that. Nobody liked that. But but everybody liked every other comment after that, right? This one got four. This should not surprise any, anybody. What is surprising is how much they still allow him to get away with. That got four likes. Are you fucking kidding me? What does he get away with? Please tell me what does he get away with. I, I'm just curious. What does he get away with? I mean, because you have to, you can't have a, a one standard for, for one person and then, a, you know, a double standard for somebody else. Okay, so whatever you claim he gets away with, you got to look at your boy Brandon, right? And every other president, your boy Barack, right? Barack Obama, Brandon, you guys, you have to, you know, you can't just have a totally different set of standards for Trump because because you've been programmed, okay? Do you even know why you don't like the... Like, what has he done f- to you? He, had, he has done nothing to any one of these people. He has done nothing negative in their life. He's done everything to help them in their life. I guarantee it. it you know, he's done nothing to hurt their wallet, nothing to hurt... But Biden has. Biden has literally affected every American... He has literally directly affected, negatively affected, every single American. And the effects, um, you're going you're gonna to feel these effects for years and years and years to come. Everything he's doing right now. And he still has, I mean, he still has, like, what, eight months, ten months? Like, imagine what more damage he can cause in ten more months. Sleepy Joe is not done yet, Right? It's just, it's just unreal to me. I don't understand it. These people have, have the confidence to come on here and actually make a comment as if they are a responsible, you know, informed, uh, you know, informed part of the conversation. Like they, like they know everything that's going on. They, they feel confident enough to come on here and make comments like this that they have to realize are the whole, let's face it, the whole point is to influence, so, you know, society, influence uh, the social norm about, you know, try to sway, (laughs) sway the opinion on Trump, right? It's like, these people can't be that stupid, I'm sorry, are these people all getting paid? Are they all getting paid something? Or what? Are half of them bots? Because this doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. I think it's more likely that, that most of these are just generated comments from an AI and then which another AI programs go in and, and do the likes and everything else. These these don't seem real at all. These do not seem real. They're not consistent with reality at all. At all. I mean, not at all. They're consistent with just what the media puts out and that's it. Also consistent with with what they don't report on, you know what I mean? Like, as in, as in, if they don't report on it, like, it doesn't exist, okay? It's like these people, their whole reality and their whole world is just this tiny little, 
tiny little view, you know, this tiny little tunnel vision of just what they've been shown and that's it. And nothing else exists, nothing else is true, only what they've been told. And they don't, nothing else is true, nothing else could be true. And everything they've been told, it has to be the truth 100% because they were told this by the media, by the, by the television. The television told them so, so it has to be true. That's the only way this makes any sense. It's fucking crazy to me. I know, I'm, I know I'm not the only one, but I had to make this rant and I had to make this video. I'm just curious to see what... <laughs> I'm curious to see what happens with the video, actually. Because I know a lot of people... Um, I, I know a lot of people feel exactly how I feel right now. Look at that. It's 11-11. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Right now. So, with that being said... 11-11 <laughs> in the videos. 13-12, right? 11-11, 12-13. Anyway... That's it. Be good or be good at it. But just don't be like this. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely fucking asinine ridiculous. All right? Be good or be good at it. Peace out.